All right, bro, what are we doing today? All right, we're going to do the usual, trim the beard. Trim let's, the beard. Let's, let's dabble with some enhancements, see how okay. that goes. Same taper? Yeah, like same taper. I'm going to let you do you, yo. Okay. I got a wedding tomorrow. Make me look yes, good. Sir. My girl yes, pulling up. Let's get to it. Let's get it. We're going to do a simple taper on this haircut. So I'm going to start my guideline right below his C cup. This is going to be a mid taper. Very simple haircut on a difficult canvas. We follow it up with our shavers, grab our JR Royal Clippers, and we start our taper process. Now, <clears throat> yes, we are going to use paint on his hairline. This client, I actually was cutting him natural. And what natural is for you guys who are new to the channel, which is basically a normal haircut without any enhancements. What paint is, uh, is basically like makeup for men for their hairlines to make it look darker, to fill in any light spots in the hairline. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be breaking down what it is, how long it lasts, all that. So stay tuned. Shout out to my guy for letting me record to his channel and his info will be down below. He also makes content. Um, he does a lot of lifestyle and uh, sneaker stuff. So give him a follow. Dope content. As you can see, the taper is coming together. Um, he, he, he has like Dominican hair, so it's very curly. And you know, Dominicans, they, they, their hair comes in all shapes and sizes. So some uh, have more tighter curl pattern, some have looser curl. His curl pattern is more tight. Um, yeah, his hair is very dense. As you can see, what hair density is, is like how many follow cores per like square, you know, inch or whatever. So as you can see, it's like very dense. You can see like the individual dots of his hair growth. You know what I'm saying? Especially near the taper area. Once the taper is done, we're gonna get started on our C cup. We're gonna line it quickly, just a rough draft. And then line around his ear. And then detail it before we move on to the next side. So this side is more difficult. His hair growth is in a different direction on this side. Um, it kind of grows backwards a little bit, especially near his vertical bar. As you can see, he has extremely long vertical bars. So, and this side, his hairline is pretty bad. It has a lot of light spots in it. So, you know, he had a wedding. He said, let's try enhancements. So we're gonna try it. So we got our one guard right now, levers open, and then we closed it right here. And we're using a corner. You don't wanna cut the C cup off and cut it too light. And then have to use paint to fill it in. Like you wanna make sure it's crispy without the paint first. You wanna keep the strong areas strong and, and you know, um, try and make the weak areas, you know, moderate at least by preserving as much hair as you can. Lining the C cup on this side, we're being a bit more gentle on this side than the other side. And we're trying not to dig in too much to the C cups, keeping it natural, but not as natural as possible. We're just still making it sharp. We're gonna trim the beard. I'm trimming his beard with a two guard. And notice I'm making sure the hair uh, is being cut. So I'm making sure the guard feeds directly into the hair, lifting his chin up all that good stuff. Last thing you want is someone walking out of your chair with an uneven beard. Now we're gonna finish fading in the beard. Now we're gonna move on to the back. The back is the same thing. Going up an inch in the back. 
put our one guard on same exact step as before and as you can see the shape of his hair is off so we're gonna have to fix that at the end he told me he didn't want any real length off he just wanted to kind of like even it out um, he got a curl cut but he wasn't really feeling it so we kind of had to even it out just a little bit I have my two guard, then I switch to my one and a half, and back to my one. Half guard, one, and now we're down to no guard. So notice I'm starting close and then I open it gradually as I go up. Very simple. Before you shape up the hair, I always like to take the hair down slightly around the ear, just so that the line can be preserved. So that if he puts a hat, hat on, this, this client wears lots of hats. Um, and even if he sweats, showers, the line should still be crispy for at least a day or two. You know what I'm saying? Especially the back lineup. But I'd say this client's very hard to cut because his hair is dense, like I said before. His skin gets irritated. It, it's you kind of got to use a razor on everything because it, the, the liners just don't get the job done. So we're starting with the hairline. He likes to keep it as natural as possible. Um, and he doesn't like when I cut the front down. So I barely touch the front. I basically just shape it up. He doesn't like any curls missing from the front because he wants to preserve it to kind of pull those curls down to kind of cover up the light spot. That's why I suggested enhancements today. So here's enhancements. This will last about two to three days it is waterproof but if you you know scrub it with shampoo it will come off or alcohol um, if you wet it it will gradually come off but if you lightly graze it with water you'll be fine um, i suggest enhancements to anyone who is um you know looking for a temporary solution to make their hairline look better say you're going on vacation you got a wedding now there are different types of enhancements there's the fiber one which looks more natural and you have this one this is more of like the spray. It's actually, you know, semi-permanent paint. Um, it's safe for the skin, designed for the skin. Um, so you'll be good. So this side, as you can see, I kind of lift it up while I shape it up to kind of avoid cutting too into it. And this side was where he really needed the enhancement. Now we're not going to overdo it. If I had it my way, I would have put a little bit more, but he didn't want to overdo it. I don't want to make it too noticeable so we're going to get started on the beard and i start with my trimmers first these trimmers are not zero gapped um, we're going to create his jawline make that beard very crispy he doesn't like his mustache too crispy but he does like his beard very crispy without pushing it too down we're going to use our shavers under his neck and then get started on the uh, blade Shout out Easy Blade. Use my promo code. It's on the screen right now for 10% off your purchase. He likes his eyebrows done. Most Hispanic clients will get their eyebrows done. That's what I'm learning. I cut a lot of Hispanics, Dominicans, um, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans. A lot of them get their eyebrows done. A lot of them. Um, that's extra money in your pocket. A lot of people tip more when you, you know, accommodate extra services. I know barbers that don't do eyebrows, and that's completely fine. But me, I like to max maximize my, my skill set. Um, focus what I'm good on, but also still be able to do other things. I'm not the best at eyebrows, clearly, as you can see. But I, can, I know how to do them. I can get them done. Most of my clients don't like them super, super sharp either. They just like it cleaned up a bit. Now we're just going to uh, freehand with the scissors a little bit. Trim it. Get that shape looking nice and right. Apply a little bit more enhancement. And he's good to go. This is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. This was a difficult cut. It's four. I'm out. Peace.